All right, Billy, your total is $2,388.72. I grew up not not able to afford it, and now I, I'm working with the people who created it. From her items to her home, to the things you wouldn't expect her to own, Join me as I show you some items that Billie Eilish owns that cost more than your life. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. 10. Gifts for her family There are a lot of things that people don't really understand about certain celebrities that make you see them in a different light when you realize it. For example, with Billie Eilish. She not only has a close connection with her family, she absolutely loves them, and even has her brother as her most important confidant. Crush, who's got a crush? I like the way you blush, I like the way you blush. So given all that, it shouldn't be too surprising that she sometimes spends her money on items to give to her family as a thank you for all that they've done for her. In a way, it's a gesture of respect and love using what she has available to her. Not that her family is poor, mind you. Her parents have worked in Hollywood for years, and her brother is a musician as well. But knowing that you can give your family gifts is something special, and while we can't speculate on the kinds of things that she gives them, we can bet they're worth a pretty penny, a small gesture to repay them for their support and love over the years. Happy birthday to you! 9. Her home. Here's a bit of a twist for you. While Billie Eilish does have millions, she doesn't use them on a home for herself. Yet. Ironically, since her family lives in Los Angeles, she just stays with them in her childhood home that is still owned by her parents. Even her brother lived there until 2019 when he got his own pad. He went and bought a $2.73 million place. It's moving day, kind of. It's kind of moving. Though it's still in Los Angeles. The nearly 100 year old home is 2,600 square feet with four bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms. The exterior of the home is Spanish inspired with pops of color and the interior is pristinely renovated. While Billy may not own her own home, her family home is now valued at over $700,000 and there are rumors that she will move in with her brother, which might give her co-ownership with that. So either way, she lives in a house that is more expensive than most. So take me through here. And then this is the belly of and the beast. This is it. This is Phineas's room. Eight. Cars. We can say with some certainty that Billie Eilish has at least one car, and she's taken many Instagram pictures of her various vehicles over the years. But the funny thing is, we don't know if she actually owns the cars, or at least we don't know how many of the cars she does own. Like we said, it's a bit tricky. We know she owns at least one, a Dodge Challenger that she was more than happy to boast about to people at Coachella. Dude, I love it so much, she said, squinting in the afternoon sun. I've been obsessed with it since I was like 12. So there's at least one car that she has, and those Dodge Challengers can run tens of thousands of dollars depending on how new it is. She's also been seen with cars like a McLaren, which are another very expensive brand of car. Here's the rub though. Though she has the Challenge and potentially other cars, she technically doesn't have her driver's license. Yeah, you might think this is a requirement for buying a car, but it's not. It just means you can't legally drive it. Since she's been making music professionally for a few years now, she hasn't had the time to do the work and get the driver's license. Still, when she does get the time to do that, she'll have plenty of money to buy all the cars she wants and drive them to her heart's content. But when that will be, no one knows. Seven, her clothing line. A clothing line from Billie Eilish, you say with skepticism? And yeah, I get it. You think of ladies like Beyonce, Gaga, or Swift having these kinds of things, no problem. But with Billie Eilish, it's kind of a different story. After all, she's very atypical in regards to what she wears on stage and in public. She's noted multiple times that she doesn't want to dress like everyone else. Rather, she wants to wear what's comfortable, and she does that very, very well. Yet, to the surprise of many, she opened her own clothing line via Blosh. And just like Billie Eilish herself, this line of clothes is about feeling comfortable, all while standing out in the crowd. You can expect flashy colors, lots of hoodies, and more if you buy from this line. Just as unique, though, is that Billie Eilish also has opened up a kid's line of clothes under her fashion line, which I'm sure a lot of parents will either be happy about or not sure what to make of. She even put a pop-up shop in Camden, London for her clothing line, and it was a big success with a very unique opening. So let this be a lesson when it comes to fashion. You don't have to be a part of the crowd. You just need to make good stuff that people will buy. See, but my boobs are too big that if I wore that, my boobs would be like still going. <laughs> Six, 
her nails. Those who know that Billie Eilish has worked on newer nails knows that it's not as simple as it sounds compared to other starlets. You see, Billie Eilish wears what she does because she doesn't want to be judged for her body. But by that token, she knows that the things like her hands are exposed to the world. And because of this, she's very insecure about her hands and especially her nails. To fight this, she does what she can to keep her nails pristine, but she also goes and hides them by buying very costly nail extensions. You know what I'm talking about. The ones that you can press onto the nails and make your look really stand out. <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, she don't need a fork. Billie Eilish has done this multiple times for multiple concerts, and she even has them in a variety of colors. What might be weird is that she wants them really long and really pointy. Yeah, you don't want to get poked by them. The problem, though, is that these nails can be dangerous to use, and to that nature, Billie once had one of those nails ripped off in such a way that it damaged her real nail. It wasn't a pretty picture when she showed it off on social media. Yes, she nailed that one good. Get it? Oh, I'll move on. They see some uh -huh. awesome nails. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, look how long. That's like as long as my actual pinky. Five, watches. Watches are a status symbol, and it's known that many celebrities like to wear them, even Billie Eilish. To that end, she's bought multiple watches over the years, and she's known for wearing two of them at the same time in order to make sure that she keeps her unique style. She's even said that her watches are a way to be an extension of her outfit that she's wearing. As for what brands of watches she likes to wear, that would be Rado, Cartier, IWC Schaffhausen, and Hermes. If that sounds expensive, they are. Some of them can be at minimum $8,000, and that's per watch. So on her wrist or arm, Billie is wearing potentially tens of thousands of dollars. Billie Eilish has said multiple times that she really does love her watches, and she's never afraid to show them off on her Instagram page, which is a stark contrast to others who just wear them and never use them again, which is a waste of money if you ask me. 4. Glasses If you pay attention to Billie Eilish on her social media page and her on-camera appearances, you may notice that she's a big fan of sunglasses. On the surface, this may just be in addition to her unique style, but in truth, Billie Eilish just loves wearing cool sunglasses. And unlike various parts of her attire, she's never afraid to spend good money on a good pair of glasses. One time, she was seen with a $420 pair of sunglasses. Not regular glasses, sunglasses. How could it be that expensive? It was from Gucci. She loves sunglasses in different shapes and colors, with Bali Carey, Arrow, Versace, Tommy Hilfiger, and Minima as her favorite brands. Wear what you love, am I right? Three, her wardrobe. And I'm about to show you my on tour, on the road closet. Billie Eilish has always been one to stand out in a crowd because she hates many basic notions of the fashion world. So wouldn't that mean she spends less money on clothes than you and other celebs? Not exactly. You see, Billie Eilish likes to stand out as we've stated, but to do that, she'll go into vintage clothes shops and look for something that'll be impossible to miss. She'll then use it in conjunction with something from, say, Louis Vuitton, who makes high-end clothing, and create a combination that makes her stand out even more than before. She also spends her money on Gucci and Chanel belt bags, and those aren't cheap by any stretch of the imagination. So she may not look it, but she's wearing a lot of fancy and expensive clothes, just not the ones you'd expect from a singer. So while it's true that some of the attire that she wears is atypical and not expensive, she still has plenty of expensive clothes, and those values add up. I always wear shorts. I cannot wear pants on the stage. 2. Jewelry Billie Eilish is known for getting very expensive types of jewelry from brands like Chanel, Gucci, Bulgari, and Chopard. Jewelry has, like, paved my life. All of which can be very expensive in terms of the items that they sell there. What Billie Eilish really likes to do, though, is buy a bunch of jewelry and then layer it on her hands and neck to create a kid of unique look, which, if you recall, is basically her thing overall. Anyway, when it comes to the rings that are on her hands, she prefers the skull look over all else. This definitely plays to her character. Fun fact, during one concert, a fan borrowed one of her rings. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> According to her, she wanted to take a picture of it, and then when she was done, she really did give it back to Billie Eilish via one of the nearby stage officials. <sighs> I guess that's my phone. Keep that. 1. Hair. Needless to say, Billie Eilish's signature look would be nothing without her hair, and she's had a lot of different hair colors over the past few years. Sometimes she changes it for music videos or concerts, and other times she'll just color it for things like Halloween. 
Either way, she has to go to a stylist to get it done, and given how frequently she changes her hair, or just has to touch it up, that can be costly. But if it helps her find herself in regards to her look, then that's money well spent, right? And she has plenty of money to make sure that said hair is always looking exactly how she wants it to look. So what do you think? What do you think of these items that Billie Eilish owns that is more than your life at times? Are you surprised by some of the things that she owns? Did you expect her to own more than this? Which items would you personally love to have for yourself? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.